So we have question number 19 here, and it is a sort of coordinates and points question. Now I do feel like there is a lot to this question, so please bear with me in the video. And if you have any comments or questions, just pop them down below. I'll do my best to get back to you there. So question number 19 says that A, B, C, D, and E are points on a straight line. Now it does say that this diagram is not drawn accurately, and we have an X axis, we have a Y axis, and we have four points, which are A, B, C, D, and E, and they're all on a straight line, we can see. We're given the coordinates of point A which is 526 and we're given the coordinates of B which is 1122. So on the next line it says that A, B, C and D are equally spaced and also that A to D and D to E is a ratio of 2 to 1. So basically the distance from A to D is twice that the distance of D to E. Work out the coordinates of E and this is a free mark question. So one thing that stands out to me that will make this question a lot easier for us is that A, B, C and D are equally spaced. So if we work out how to get from A to B, we can apply that to get from B to C and C to D. That's because they're all equal distance apart and they're on a straight line. So they're going in the same direction. They have the same gradient. And to get from A to B, we can see the coordinate. So we just have to add six to the X axis and subtract four from the Y axis. So I've put these triangles in and you can see the distance there. So to go between the points, we can just add six to the X axis and subtract four from the Y axis. So if we want to get from point B to C, all we have to do is take point B, then we're going to add 6 to the x value which is 11 then we're going to subtract 4 from the y value which is 22 so 11 plus 6 and 22 minus 4 is 17 18 so that's the point c there next we have d which is point 17 18 plus 6 on the x axis and minus 4 on the y axis so d is going to be equal to 23 14 so we've managed to work out points a b c and d now we could also work out a to d because once we work out a to d we know that d to e is half of that distance and then that will eventually lead us to point E, which is what we need to work out for the question. So if we wanted to travel from point A to point D, all we'd have to do is take point A, and then we need to work out the difference between point A and point D. So point A is 526, and point D is 2314. So we just have to add 18 to the x value and subtract 12 from the y value. So we know the distance we have to travel is 18 minus 12. So we know to travel D to E, it's going to be half of that. So we can divide this by 2 to get from D to E. So D to E is just going to be point D plus 18 over 2 minus the 12 over 2 for the y-axis that's because of the 2 to 1 ratio so point e is just going to be point d plus 9 minus 6 so e is going to be equal to 23 14 plus 9 minus 6 so e is going to be equal to 32 8 and all we've done is worked out how to get from a to d because we know points a and d then we've halved that travel distance because a to d d to e is half because it's 2 to 1 ratio and if we apply that exactly to point d it will give us the exact coordinates of e now i feel like that is a bit of a harder question to explain but if you do have any questions or comments leave them down below best luck with maths and thanks for watching the video